Hello, Mr Smith here, and today we're going to look at finding percentages of amounts. And we're going to use an easy amount, which is going to be 500. And the first percentage we're going to find of 500 is 30%. So, to find a percentage of any amount, there's an easy way to start. And the easiest way to start is to find 10%. Finding 10% of any amount is easy because all you have to do is divide that amount by 10. It's that simple. And that only works for 10%. It doesn't work for 15%, 20%, 50%. It only works like that for 10%. So 10% of 500 would be 500 divided by 10. And then think about your place value. Obviously, it's going to jump one place to the right. It means we've got 50 so 10% of 500 equals 50. However, the question asked us for what 30% of 500 was. So if we know that 10% is 50, we need to think, what have we done to 10 to get to 30? Well, we've multiplied it by 3. So we need to do the same thing to the 50, the amount of the percentage. So 50 times 3, or well, I think 5 times 3 is 15, so 50 times 3 is 150. And there we go. Simple as that. Okay, let's have a look at a more complicated percentage now. Let's have a look at 36%. Of 500. We'll stay with 500 because it's a nice easy number to work with and I won't get too confused. So, as before, we need to find 10%. Always start with 10%. So, 10% of 500. Remember the rule? Can you remember what the rule was for finding 10%? That's right, divide it by 10. So, 500 divided by 10 is 50. And again, we're going to want 30% because we've got 30% in our amount that we need to find. So, 30% of 500. Remember, we took our 50, and because we multiplied 10% by 3 to get 30%, we are going to multiply the 50 by 3 again, and that's going to give us 150. So we've got 30%. But we need that extra 6%, so we need a 6% of 500. So before we get 6%, we're going to need to know what 1% is of 500. 1% of 500 is a nice easy one to find. All we do is we divide by 100. And that's nice and easy, so 500 divided by 100. Think about moving two places to the right. So that 5 will come from 1, 2 places, and that will simply become 5. So if 1% is 5, and we need 6%, what have we done to 1 to make 6? Well, we've multiplied it by 6, haven't we? So we can do the same thing to our amount. So 5 multiplied by 6 gives us, of course, 30. And then what we need to do is we need to add that 30, that 6%, to the 30% area, 150. So 150, add that 30, gives us 180. And there we have 36% of 1, 500 being 180. And I can be fairly confident that that is the answer because it's not more than 500. Remember, percentages are parts of a whole, like fractions and decimals, so I should never be getting a percentage that's more than the number I started with. And 180, it's less than half, you know, 50%, so that sounds like a good answer to me. I'm happy with that. Right, let's move on. And let's find a different uh, percentage now. Let's find... 7%, we'll change the pen, that looks better, doesn't it? 7% of 500 
of 500. Now, I keep telling you, find 10% first, but this time we're less than 10%. So maybe I don't need to find 10% this time. This time I could just start by finding 1%. Can you remember how to find 1%? That's right. We divide 500 by 100. And that gives us an answer of 5. So 1% is 5, but we need that 7%. So, what have we done to get from 1% to 7%? Well, obviously, we've multiplied the 1 by 7. And that's the same thing we'll do to the amount. We'll multiply the 5 by that 7. 7 fives, 35. And there is our answer. And that is percentages of amounts. Easy when you know how.